everybody, welcome back. My name is Sarah. Today we're going on a little adventure to try and recreate a cookie that I invented a couple weeks ago. Now sadly, I didn't write down any of the ingredients or directions, so I'm going by memory and really hoping that I can recreate these because they turned out really good and I really liked them, my neighbors really liked them, and uh, I'm gonna bring you all along with me to do this. There's only a couple ingredients that I'm absolutely positive of the amount that I used, and uh, <laughs> the rest of it we are going to freehand and hope that I can get the same results. So wash your hands, grab your gear, and we're gonna go over to the kitchen, which is now our cookie laboratory. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So this is what you're going to need and the ingredients that I'm absolutely sure on are the quarter cup each of tahini, maple syrup, and almond milk. So you're gonna have three quarters of a cup of liquid here. A teaspoon of baking soda a teaspoon of cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of almond extract, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, we're gonna need about a third of a cup of pecan meal, and three quarters to a cup of the darkest chocolate chip you can find. Uh, find one that has the lowest amount of sugar in it and the highest amount of cacao. And for the oat flour, I'm gonna start with about a cup and a half, but I may wind up increasing it to two if the texture of the dough is not right. So here we go. I hope that you are all ready for this little adventure. <laughs> really quick guys, I just wanted to say, you know, if you're worrying about, you know, how am I gonna know exactly what to put in these cookies? I'm gonna put the completed uh, ingredients list and directions in the description below. You know, once I am I'm done recreating these, I will have the complete recipe written out. So look for that description box below. Now that you have all the liquids mixed together, let's throw a cup and a half of flour into here. And we'll add in our pecan meal as well. Now add in your baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. And just give it a little mix. weird working without a recipe. I really should have been writing things down as I made it because they turned out really, really good, but it was a whim late at night and I wanted cookies and I didn't have the ingredients I needed for the ones I wanted to make, so I improvised. And I really wasn't expecting them to come out as good as they did. Now we're gonna add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients and mix them up. Yeah, it looks like the cup and a half was a good guess. And then we're gonna add in 
our chocolate. It is possibly important to note that I, when I made this, I was just throwing ingredients into my food processor. It's a little bit different to mix it by hand. It's rather a thick dough. I might not use all the chocolate, but that's okay. looks about right okay oh and the oven just preheated good timing let's get this scooped and in the oven now to keep it as close to the original experience as possible I'm gonna be using my baking stone if you don't have one that's okay you can use a normal baking sheet but I would possibly recommend covering it in parchment paper this time I won't drop part of the dough on the floor. <laughs> Actually, I didn't drop it on the floor. I wound up dropping it into the oven <laughs> and making a mess. I was very uncoordinated the first time I made these. I, I don't really know what I was doing. Don't worry, nobody wound up eating them. I threw them away. <laughs> It was the second, you know, batch that I had put in the oven. They wound up <laughs> rolling right off the, the baking stone into the bottom of my oven. And there was a horrible smell of burning chocolate for a short time while I frantically turned everything off and cleaned everything out. I gave my oven a good scrubbing in the morning. We're gonna put them in for, eh, we'll check them at eight minutes, but they should go in for 10, I think. All right, look at that. It came out beautifully. They look perfect. So we're gonna let them rest for a minute, maybe two on the tray to firm up a little bit. And then we are going to move them over to the wire rack to finish cooling. Oh man, that baking stone is awesome. Listen, I'm sliding right off. I very, very highly recommend the baking stones to you guys. Well, we did it. We recreated the cookie. So either I am incredibly consistent in the way that I do things, or I have a better memory than I thought. Um, so now that I have the recipe down pat, I need to come up with a name for these cookies. So, you know, drop a comment down below. What should we call these sweet little chocolate chip tahini oatmeal pecan cookies? That's really a long name for them. So let's try to find a a good short name for them. <laughs> um, 
anyway, thank you for joining me on this little journey, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you will enjoy the cookies if you make them. Have a great evening. I will see you all next time. Goodbye!